More than two years after the start of the pandemic, we're still learning what the long-term consequences of COVID might be. Tonight, a new study finds the risk of suffering long COVID symptoms remains elevated even years after that initial infection. Researchers analyzed hospital data for one and a quarter million patients two years after their COVID diagnosis and compared them with a closely matched group of people who had a different respiratory infection. They found even two years later, the adults who had COVID had a higher risk of developing seizure disorders, brain fog, dementia, and other mental health conditions. Kids who had recovered from COVID had an increased risk of epilepsy, seizures, encephalitis, and nerve disorders. As more and more people catch COVID, new long hauler symptoms continue to be reported. Doctors say two of the most common are fatigue and breathlessness. Some systematic reviews and studies have shown this to be more common in older patients. In our practice, we are seeing it more common in younger patients. It's more common in females compared to males. Dr. Michael Gobriel is a pulmonologist at the Cleveland Clinic. He says when it comes to treating long haul symptoms, there's no one size fits all treatment plan. Their improvement in their symptoms is not on a day to day basis. It's more on a week to week, month to month that they are noticing that they are better this week compared to last week with long COVID improvement takes a little bit longer time. Now, it's still not clear why some people suffer long COVID symptoms and others don't. CDC says the long COVID does tend to be more common in patients who develop severe COVID, those with other underlying health problems than people who are not vaccinated.